Hello, and today on Squadcast, we have me, Alex of Gameworks, and Maddie, hey. of, also of Gameworks, and Ethan. And DJ Brodo! <laughs> That's in my contract. <laughs> So we're going to do a podcast today yeah, we are. about a specific topic brought to us by Netflix. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Where this Watch is... by Netflix. <laughs> Not really. Netflix! <laughs> oh. Watch some fucking videos. I wish. We're not actually sponsored yeah, no, by Netflix. I'm so sorry, Netflix. <laughs> we are... They paid us to that not was, talk yeah. about them and we just breached contracts. Uh, my name is not Ethan. Yeah. Okay, same. We should... We should uh, <laughs> Woo! Woo! Into the next one. All right, let's start today's topic, which is AAA games and the industry, and how it's weird. Wow, I think it's weird. That's my okay. So yeah, this is my opinion. Like, I say weird because I look at. Um, I think Call of Duty is like a big contender for this kind of thing. What kind that of makes thing no is that? sense. Never fucking mind. But so I think I think like it's weird to think about Call of Duty and how the fact that. I personally think they market it towards little kids, not like little kids, but kids, Teen, you know, who are young 14. Teenagers. Yeah. Maybe, maybe even 13. Yeah. That's who, when we were really big. Yeah. Who it. want to play the game because they know it's M rated. Cause I played call of duty and I look at it and I'm like, this really isn't an, a mature game. This isn't a <laughs> game that I'd rate that only 17 year olds can play. And I think that's weird. or it's even for seventeen year olds. Like it's for like yeah, exactly. fourteen, fifteen year olds want to yeah. push it up. And if you play nothing it, wrong like, with that. Yeah, no, I mean nothing wrong with that. But I just think it's interesting. I think it's weird. Like I said, that it's marketed towards that way. Yeah, and just how the rating system like goes into that. Because <laughs> like surely they must be aware <laughs> that this is going on. Oh yes, they do. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it's their job to just <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Airplane but, reference. I mean, I have the air horn, but if I did, the, the air horns on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> just an air horn um i mean i guess it's not really and i mean i feel like that's that's kind of common especially AAA to like kind of use negative press as still press like you've I, yeah. we've all heard of the game hatred right no. I, I have not I have oh not. well there goes my point well, but like, it a lot give of people, the audience a description a lot of people have heard of the game hatred which was basically billed as like a murder simulator you know like you were literally playing as a guy who's just going around shooting civilians for no reason fuck you're playing as like and he's wearing like a big black trench coat and shit mm. and like it got pulled from steam for a while then put back on Holy and shit. so all this negative press and like the development team has been completely candid with the fact that like yeah we were well, just no, they wanted that of exactly course. no of they're they and they're yeah. not but they're not even like trying to pretend like they're like yeah we wanted to cause shit and they were like so far we've been quite happy with the response <laughs> <laughs> like because that's all they wanted to do so like yeah hell yeah it's it's i don't know like things like that are very often used as like i wonder what i wonder what the rating system how it's going to change because it has to change eventually it's that's not true really you don't think it'll change it should and it won't i mean i don't know if it should change i think it will i think Why? at some point people will sit down and be like these ratings they don't matter anymore you know you look at the, the fan base for like halo and call of duty and how it's very not over 17 as the game suggests that its players should be yeah, but I mean... I, don't... I mean, don't you think that someone will eventually be like, hey, this is wrong, whether it be a politician or a fucking angry parent or, <laughs> you know, other game companies who want the ratings to actually suggest who should be playing their games? Um, I don't know. Yeah, but I feel, like, I feel like games that have that content are never going to be anything lower than M. Yeah. A and that's the kind of content that yeah, is I guess, going I for guess those teens. Yeah, I guess there so. will always... Like, there will always exist a way to like make a game and to put it into like a call of duty level where it's really not an m-rated game in my opinion i mean i'm sure there's there's blood and there's violence and i think uh what do they usually i don't get know i for? think of black ops it's a pretty fucking okay yeah game. black ops that's a that's a good point because I, I do think that both of the black ops games even world at war world at war is fucked yeah. like i don't know if you've ever played through that campaign i remember that i mean they give you the graphic content warning and you get the graphic content warning in like modern warfare 2 but you go through that campaign it's like i i was not 17 when i played that game <laughs> like oh shit <laughs> did not mean that not 17 Woo! 
Um, yeah. Well, underage when jokes. When we first, when me and you specifically started first playing Call of Duty, oh, yeah, we I was not allowed to. I, I was not allowed to. I don't think that's true. Actually, me. Rebels. You totally were. I mean, I don't think my dad or my parents really knew what was in yeah. those games. But my parents did, and it specifically forbade me from playing it while we were like 13. And we, I think we World at War it. fucked me, so like, you know, no shame <laughs> on them. No shame on them. <laughs> like, the, I think World of War fucked me. Just, oh, oh, buddy, like that opening <laughs> scene where he fucking slits that guy's throat. I remember like, that. Holy fucking shit. It's like, hey, welcome to the first five seconds. Oh, that guy's dead. Brutal death there. Oh, also, like, oh, no so Russian, bad. that level. That's Modern level. Warfare 2. Still. I mean, you, you fucked that one up. Just <laughs> <laughs> That's going to happen. Okay, yeah, the no Russian level is, like, appropriately skippable. Because it gives That's you true. the option. It's like, yeah, like, the game is like, oh, hey, by the way, this is pointless, but also just violent. So <laughs> Also, by the way, this shit's about to be fucked up as hell. I do, I do think it was funny that a game based on violence is like, hey, this next part, yeah. you know, it's going to have some violence. It's like, well, I understand. I, I picked up the game, you know? Yeah, that's you my know? problem with, like, back to, like, the hatred thing. It's my problem with people being like, it's a murder simulator. I'm like, yeah. So is Have you played video games yeah, before? Yeah, so like, is any game. Like, yeah, pretty it's much weird to think that the all of them are unapologetically murder simulators. Like, it's like, ooh, <laughs> these, are, these are innocent people, but it's like, fighting for their aren't country. we all aren't innocent we people? people? Like, it's not murder if they're terrorists. <laughs> whoa buddy whoa, whoa buddy whoa. <laughs> drawing some lines <laughs> then erase them then drawing some new ones <laughs> holy shit um fuck it <laughs> um I also think there's a big problem in the AAA industry that's about to happen it ooh happened okay yet. I'm interested yeah and it's, it's specifically with next gen and it's I mean I'm gonna make an episode about this soon so I'm not gonna give too much away give I guess give as much effect. away as you need but like I mean I guess I'll just go over the like the general like like look at the Order 1886 and like a lot of I've heard a lot of bad shit about it yeah I feel like it really exemplifies what is about to be the very big problem because like um because the capability of these things to produce graphics right has grown exponentially mm -hmm. like you hear you hear things that like in the new Batman game the Batman model is going to have as many polygons as the entire island of Arkham Islands did in the first Batman game. What the Equal fuck? amount of, a like, near, very similar amount of polygons. What the fuck? The entire textures of I that first island. I actually can't, like, wrap my brain around that. That does be not make just sense. just the Batman model. Because in my mind, like, you're saying that people are going to spend as much time making the fucking Batman characters they did I the mean, original I mean, it's not island. as much time. Yeah, exactly. It's not but, as much time or work because, you know, things advance. But, like, but in that, my mind, that's what That's, that's what the makes problem, sense though. To me. You actually just stumbled headfirst into the problem. Ooh, is yummy. that, like, the tools to make these art assets have only gotten a little bit more advanced. Ooh, so it okay. takes a lot more time to make games now and a lot more money. And so that's why you see, like, you know, the Order 1886, it, they spent years and years developing that game, mm. millions of dollars, a team of, like, huge numbers of people to get, like, you get, like, a six-hour game. Like, you get, like, yeah. a long movie of a game. Yeah, exactly. With a little bit of buggy AI sometimes and not the best, like, I plotting. Heard, I heard, yeah, little replayability. Yeah. And, like, the like the Rainbow Six Vegas 2 AI is better than the AI in that game because the entire game... And the entire development time was spent making the game yeah, look fucking make, amazing. Yeah, exactly. Which it does. That game looks balls to the wall in, amazing. Yeah, like fucking Rainbow Six looks like shit. And like, it like plays shit. amazingly, yeah. so that's what you need. You don't give a shit about the graphics. Exactly. Ooh, and like That's dangerous. Yeah, it's like, a dangerous place. Given to another few right years, now. I'm sure they could have made the AI perfect, but, you know, they didn't have that time. Yeah. And so, like... Dang. We're getting into this really dangerous... <laughs> Damn! We're getting into this really dangerous area where we have, like, the ability to make these, like, amazing things, but it takes way too much time and Oh, money. wait, was that a picture of... Hold on, sorry to cut you off. Was that a picture of the, the in-game thing? I was looking up Order 1886. Oh, I thought you were just, like, holding up a picture of Circus Survives. <laughs> Can I see that again? Because I've what? seen very, I've seen very little of the game, but I've really? heard of, like... It the, looks fucking amazing. Holy fucking Christ. It looks... He, Maddie just threw him a picture on her phone of the game. It looks... The, the, the thing that... Like, don't throw it. Don't throw it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> the thing that always astounds me is the fucking hair. Yeah, that's, right? That's so fucking right? difficult. It's beyond me. But there's, like, perfect reflections, too. Like, when you're walking by mirrors, like, it perfectly reflects everything. But, like, perfectly isn't, like, it's warped as the mirror would actually warp an image reflected. Uh, like, it all looks pristine. That's amazing. And, but... And here's the other problem with that. 
also is the fact, and I noticed this in the order specifically as well, is when you're playing a game like, say, like, I don't fucking Half-Life 1, where, like, the most high-res fucking asset has, like, ten polygons yeah. on it. Like, you, when weird kind of glitchy video gamey things happen, like an AI, like, doesn't exactly react right, or, like, an enemy, like, phases through a wall slightly, mm. like, you don't really notice. Yeah, Because it's all part of the video game world. But when you make something like the Order, I, I, I noticed watching the Offensive Gamer, Jake, play it, or Offensive Jake now, play it, because I watched him play through about half of it. Any little tiny becomes glitch disturbing. becomes completely weird. Like he, there was a part where there was like werewolf, like a werewolf like runs into a train station and like ten people like run away and three of the AIs got kind of like caught on each other, like trying to get out of like this small like exit and so they kind of like bumped against each and it looked completely weird because everything else was so fucking realistic yeah. that even the smallest thing out of place, you're, it it pulls so your brain right you're out. You're saying of it. It, it demands. It demands to be better by being better, essentially. Exactly. Like, you're setting yourself up for failure. Sense. Yeah, exactly. Because, like, they're making it so good-looking. But by doing that, they have to make all the programming perfect, or else the programming's gonna make all the good-looking things But they can, like because shit. the game's taken... Yeah. It takes so much time to, like, like develop art it didn't like have that. any more glitches than any other game. Especially yeah. a lot of games that did come out, like Assassin's Creed Unity, have way more glitches. Uh, I've seen... I've but seen because, the pain. Yeah, the fucking sky texture being replaced by the face texture, that's the funniest <laughs> one, in my opinion. Have you seen pictures of oh, that shit? God, no, but that's not It's like horrible. NPC face just like across the entire <laughs> sky. It's terrifying. And it's like stretched across too, so it's like, oh. like That's not the sky. content aware. Not that content. Is not, I am very unaware. Unaware content right there. Oh my but God. like, yeah, so we're we're setting the we're piling and piling on these different. We're just reasons. putting we're putting Whoa, where did that yeah. go? We're we're yeah, setting ourselves up for failure. And like and you hear and I see headlines like Ubisoft saying like Ubisoft. To I thought, it was, I thought it was Ubisoft. Whatever, Ubisoft, Ubisoft, whoever. Okay, I was just making sure I didn't. Fucking I wasn't foreign. lied to. <laughs> For years, mom. <laughs> you can't say beep, 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 beep. Oh, shit. There you go. There it is. There so, we yeah, go. You see, you see things like Ubisoft saying, I forget the exact number. Okay, but they once were again. Like, you be your email. Oh my god. <laughs> you were saying soft. <laughs> being like, we're gonna have to sell like something like 20 million units on this to break even. That's gross. Because because it takes so much fucking time and money to make a six hour goddamn experience. So like Alex, are you saying we should make <laughs> ugly games? <laughs> Damn. I love the way you said it. She just wrapped up your fucking well, argument. I'm done with these right gotcha in your questions. goddamn face. Fuck the artist. Fuck the Amen. I mean, yeah. honestly, I think that the idea should be closer to like. I think we need to get rid of. I'm not saying they should be uglier, but I think we should get rid of the idea of hyper realistic games. Yeah. Because what does that actually get you? Like, like you watch Bloodborne, or not Bloodborne, that's a different game. You watch Order 1886, right? And for about mm. five, 10, 5 to 10 minutes, you're like, this is amazing. But yeah. after that, your brain just adjusts okay. and it's like anything else. This is like one thing I'm talking about. Like, Order 1886, isn't this in like a steampunk universe? Ish, yeah. Ish, yeah. See, like, I think as like a content consumer, I, I don't personally like steampunk, but I, I like stuff like Fallout. You know, stuff yeah. that exists in a universe that's not really real. It's kind of like a mixture of I actually two really things. liked the universe in Order 1886. I bet really I would too. I see a lot. I, I, I mean, I saw a lot of it and I think it's interesting. But like, as a. If I was a content consumer of like steampunk stuff, when I feel like I'd go towards movies, you know, I'd go towards yeah. other like types of content other besides playing Cosplay. this weird like six hour game, you know, that doesn't seem like something that yeah. I enjoy necessarily, especially if it's not good. If it's just yeah, hyper realistic, there's no like, story. Like, why not just that. watch a fucking movie? Because that's what you're going for. Yeah, at that yeah, exactly. Point. No one likes the story. Why, why um, achieve hyper realism when you can just, you know, videotape? realism yeah. you know so it's kind of it's I, it's I feel like it's similar to like cartoons almost is what I would compare it to like oh, you okay. don't want all of your cartoons to be hyper realistic like yeah no that would be shitty and like what makes them great is the fact that they're not realistic yeah I you feel can like, do so much more with exactly that. yeah I feel like if we move into that area with video games it would be better because like I know hyper realism as a concept is fine but it's like if that gets in the way of other things, which it almost yeah, always does. Yeah, if it gets, gets in the way of gameplay. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm going to put this thing on the ground. If it gets in the uh, way of... <laughs> <laughs> like, if if in your video game, hyper-realism gets in the way of fucking gameplay, then you have an issue. Yeah. 
and it's, it's as simple as it gets. And that's what all of these AAA video games are going for. Like the new, the newest Call of Duty. Like what's every yeah, newest no. Call of Duty? What's their selling that, point? Like, Looks even better than the last. Yeah, exactly. Who gives a shit? Yeah. If you're if you're playing Ghosts versus Black Ops, who gives a shit that Ghost looks better? Yeah. Nobody. No one. Cares. I'll play Black Ops over Ghosts any day of the week. I play fucking World at War before I play Ghosts. <laughs> like, fantastic. Because it's got the zombie mode. Well, okay, Ghost has the alien mode, which is. To be fair, it's pretty good. Awesome. It's like it's really like the only. I have sunk way more hours the in the aliens mode. I think I don't think I've played the campaign. How, did we ever play the campaign? I tried again? really hard, and I got to the dog part, <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck this!" I I love the part where Call of Duty tries just like I love a little your, the, bit too hard. The part where your stealth team drives a truck into the enemy. Camp. <laughs> That's my personal favorite part of the game. You got you got farther than me in the game and i fucking own it like you you did that in a morning too you're like oh hey you woke up late i i played through oh, yeah, the campaign I about that. yeah i did that it was not very great yeah i was like wow <laughs> aliens mode is great though mm. but anyways um well yeah so those are all my big problems with the triple industry yeah and i mean it really that's it really kind of grabs something that the last like five to ten games that i've played seriously have all been indie games all of them. Yeah. Every single one. And I don't mean to, but like Feck pointed out, like, he's like, why do you always do indie games for the GameWorks videos? I was like, do I? And he's like, yeah. And I looked and I was like, shit, these are all indie games. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I don't mean to do that. Those are just the games that I play and the yeah. games that have the game like, you, games you enjoy. And the games that have interesting things to talk about. I think, I think indie games always have an edge on actual gameplay because it's people thinking like, how can I actually make this game yes. better and not the Though fucking... Though I will say... What? The newest game I'm super into right now is a AAA game, ooh, and it's ooh, fucking ooh. Life is Strange. What is amazing so far? The only two episodes of it have come out, but it's by the it's by the company that made like Remember Me. Do you remember that game? Mm, ironically, vaguely? it it was not very big or very good. Oh, yeah. okay. I did say ironically because nobody remembers Remember Me, and it's published, <laughs> oh. and it's published by Square Enix, which is really surprising to me uh, because Enix. the game is super like artsy and understated and like subtle. Okay. Which are not Square Enix's strong suits. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> Looking at the Final Fantasy series, though it's just published, not developed, but still, and it's awesome. Oh yeah, would you suggest playing it? I would. Fuck you, buddy. There you have it. <laughs> Maddie's third sentence of the day. Okay. Thank you. It's been almost 20 minutes. Lovely, Maddie. Hell yeah. Sounds good to me. Are we good? Yep. All right. Thanks for tuning into the first Squadcast, everybody. Let's roll out Squadcast. We'll probably have guests later. I've been waiting literally 20 minutes to say that. Bye. Let's roll out Squadcast. We'll have guests later in this series. Squadcast out! We'll bring in in other people. (laughs) Bye. We'll have better endings. That's my finished clip. No, no, (laughs) we won't. How the fuck are you going to beat that? (laughs) 